Most people have heard of the mysterious Bermuda Triangle in the west of the North Atlantic, but did you know that there's also a similarly deadly region in the Pacific known as the Devil Sea? Located off Japan's coast in the world's biggest ocean, this area has swallowed up ships and aircraft both in the past as well as much more recently. But why does this happen and how? Let's find out in this episode of the Infographic Show. 9 Ships Lost in Perfect Weather To the Japanese, the area is known as Mono Umi, or literally the Sea of the Devil. Alternatively, it's referred to as the Dragon's Triangle or the Bermuda Triangle of the Pacific. The exact coordinates of where it is seem to be somewhat open to debate. However, the rough location remains the same. Most claim it is a triangle with the top point near Tokyo, Japan, with its left corner hitting the Philippines and its right reaching just short of the Mariana Trench. It spans a good portion of the Philippine Sea. If you were to make a horizontal line from its center around the globe on the opposite side of the world, you would pass right through the heart of the Atlantic's Bermuda Triangle. Many believe this is no coincidence. Beyond its ability to seemingly swallow up boats and planes whole, it's also where people claim to have experienced many strange things. Some have seen ghost ships set sail, UFOs fly among the clouds, or monsters deftly navigate its waters. It's where others have witnessed mysterious inconsistencies with the passing of time and the functioning of electronic devices. Could it also be where Amelia Earhart met her end? According to some conspiracy theorists, this is exactly what happened, though others hypothesize that she was both captured and killed by the Japanese. Of course, the position of the US government is that she simply crashed somewhere unknown at sea. To add yet further to the Devil's Triangle mystery, some suggest it could be the site of the lost city of Atlantis. As it's impossible to explore what lies beneath, we'll never know if this is the case. These and many other strange things have been associated with the lethal waters that go back thousands of years. There are tales of 13th century attempts at Mongol attacks on Japan acting on the orders of the grandson of Genghis Khan. They tried two such invasions both in 1274 and 1281 AD. Unfortunately, to get to their target area, they had to first navigate the Devil Sea. Typhoon storms ended up battering the fleets on both occasions, and the second one was especially strong. This threw off the attacks and led to celebrations among the Japanese population. Shattered remains of waterlogged ships from the Mongolian fleet still rest on the ocean's bottom. It's estimated that around 40,000 men were lost along with their ships to the sea. This was followed by several sightings of a single lady on a ship sailing along the Dragon's Triangle all alone. What she was doing or what vessel she sailed have never been determined with any certainty. Her ship was unusual, as it was described as the shape of a box used to hold incense, unlike the design of other ships common to the area. Beyond this strange sight, many claim to have glimpsed strange lights that shone out from above the waves. Mysterious events only continued into the 1940s and 50s. During these 10 years, several ships who entered the Devil Sea area were never heard from again. 20 submarines from World War II similarly disappeared. Specifically, the stretch between Miyake and Iwo Jima Islands seemed to be particularly deadly. Some who navigated the treacherous waters of the Devil's Triangle and survived claimed that the weather would change suddenly and drastically without an obvious cause or warning. They have mentioned devastating rogue waves coming out of nowhere or strong maelstroms mercilessly spinning the waters of the sea. In addition to this, Toksiaki Lang, who flew over the area during a battle with the US in the Second World War, claimed to have glimpsed a long serpent-like monster with wings gliding through the water. There were more unusual tales from during the war. A pilot in a Kawanishi HK-8 plane who was looking for signs of the Americans approaching radioed into the military base on the mainland. After mentioning that the sky was opening up, communication was lost and never continued. Some wonder if some higher power claimed him or a portal had opened up to another dimension. Nothing will ever be known for certain. Between the years of 1950 and 1954 alone, as many as nine ships equipped with radios and sailing in calm seas went missing. Only one had called for help. Noticing a troubling trend midway through this time, Japan decided to investigate. It dispatched a research ship, the Kayomaru No. 5, to take a closer look. Sadly, the vessel became yet another statistic. While the ship was found, none of the remains of those manning the vessel ever were. It's estimated between 1952 and 1954, five Japanese vessels sank or vanished, and more than 700 people died in a Devil Sea location. However, after the loss of the Kairumaru No. 5, 
Japan had already terminated all open investigations into the region. They knew if they revisited the area exactly what would happen. And sure enough, their fears were soon proven true with the continued loss of their citizens' vessels as well as those of others. This was despite the fact that the Japanese government had issued an official warning about the dangers. It's clear that many tragic things have happened at the Devil's Triangle. What's less clear is why. A theory that has been largely debunked is that, like the Bermuda Triangle, it's one of the world's 12 vile vortices. This term was first given by a biologist known as Ivan T. Sanderson, who classified each of these places around the globe as the site of strange electromagnetic activity. He's also referred to them as the world's graveyards, and it's not hard to see why. Sanderson believes that they're caused by combinations of hot and cold air and water currents that meet in these specific locations. According to his calculations, this happened in a type of pattern. When he drew lines to connect the vile vortices of the world, they formed a 20-face polyhedron. Because of these unusual events, it would throw off the function of navigation instruments, as well as other things. Pilot Tetsuza Naito would attest to this. According to some sources, he had been flying over Miyaki Island when his instruments went haywire for a full 15 minutes. Then, alarmingly, his engine started sputtering. Further, he claims after all this had happened, he was temporarily surrounded by a strange green glow. Interestingly, green haze has also been reported in the sky above the waters of the Bermuda Triangle. To continue with Sanders' theories, remember that the 12 vile vortices were, he believed, a convergence of Earth's power that caused strange electromagnetic activity. For this reason, he claimed a vile vortex could not only lead to things disappearing or strange instrument fluctuation, but paranormal activity or gateways to different dimensions. Pilot Takeo Tada flying over the area in 1971 seemingly supported this. He claimed it was a nice though cloudy day when he saw a flying orange saucer appear before him. As it was traveling rather slowly, he was able to observe it closely before it vanished into a cloud. However, afraid of ridicule, he didn't share the story until decades had passed. Those who are less inclined to believe in the world's interesting power grid and Sanders' ideas may be pleased that there are also other more logical explanations. The Miyakijima and Iwo Jima Islands, or area with much strange activity and disappearances, are near the Izubonin volcanic arc, with actively erupting volcanoes. In fact, in ancient times, the Chinese believed that all problems in the area stemmed from dragons beneath the waters of the Devil's Triangle, with the hunger that they satisfied by feasting on entire ships. It may be that what they mistook for a fire-breathing dragon was really an underwater eruption that had breached the surface. Researcher Larry Kush is said to have found proof that the wreck of the Japanese investigating ship was actually caused by a volcano known as Myojin Sho erupting. Volcano activity could also lead to earthquakes and thunder and lightning storms, which would make sailing overhead quite dangerous. There's additional evidence of continual underwater movement and explosions that can be seen from far above. The shifting of tectonic plates either lift up land or bring it down. This is why the area near Iwo Jima has continually forming and then quickly disappearing land masses or islands. Of course, there is the apparently bottomless Mariana Trench nearby, with unknown if any effects, but probably only adds further to the instability in the area. Some also believe methane gases from the seabed below could have journeyed to the surface with disastrous consequences. In fact, some theorize this could sink a ship and leave behind little if any evidence. This is because it causes problems with buoyancy as it's difficult to float on a bubbling sea. In fact, an NBC News article updated in 2003 describes the odorless gas as first being solid in pressurized conditions, but turning to gas as it breaks free and drifts upward. This could then potentially lead to a gigantic bubble, which could easily overtake a ship. However, if far enough away or surprisingly right above such a bubble, a vessel remains safe. Through experiments, scientists have found that it's when ships are near the edge of the trough that forms that they would be in trouble. Lots and lots of it. Of course, Larry Kush, who proposed the volcanic activity theory, also claims that the tales of the damage the Devil's Triangle has wrought to those in the air and sea have been exaggerated. In his belief, many of the ships that vanished there actually went down in different locations entirely. And as we just described, those who did vanish in the Devil's Sea, Kush believed were victims of multiple natural phenomenon, nothing otherworldly, inexplicable, or strange. Further, taking vessels into the open sea is known to be dangerous. Many navigate the ocean's waters, and it's almost inevitable that for some reason or other, ships would eventually flounder and sink. 
So while all of these ideas of dragons, portals, or aliens are fun to consider, there are really any of several logical reasons for each disaster. Of course, it could also be a combination of all of these theories, a little UFO and portal activity mixed with actions of bubbles and volcanoes. Tell us, what's your take on the many nautical and in-flight tragedies that took place near the Devil's Sea? Is there a simple explanation, or is it truly a mystery? Let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other video called 50 Facts About the Bermuda Triangle. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.